Alrighty. Adrian. Drew. Good morning to good you. Good morning. On this not sunny Monday Oh, morning. it's so bright. I can't. No, it's actually quite dreary, but we are here to brighten up your day because yeah, we're we going to talk about some products. Woohoo. So every now and then I look on our website as we are known to do from time to time. And I'll admit, we got a lot of stuff. Sometimes I forget we have certain things. Not totally forget, but I'm reminded of how cool certain things are. And I'm like, man, why don't more people use that thing? Because we don't talk about it. Right. So Adrian and I picked a few things that we personally thought needed a little bit of shine. Maybe they are popular. We just think they should be more popular. Maybe they're not really spoken about and we think they should be. So without further ado, I'm going to get started and then we'll go to you and then go to me. Then go to you. Go to me. Cool. And cool. here we go. The first thing. We've been uh, talking a lot about the Noodler's Triple Tail. It's a new pen yeah. coming out. Yep. A lot of buzz going on. And it made me think of the pen that started it all. Yeah. The Noodler's Creeper Flex Pen. And this little guy it's has so been <laughs> on the market for quite a while. And it has stayed, at, I, I want to say it started at like $14, like 10 mm -hmm. years ago. And it's only gone up $2 since yeah. then. It's an adorable little pen. <laughs> it really is. And at $16.10, it's a fun pen to just give. I wouldn't consider it to be the best starter pen in the world, but at 16 bucks, it's a fun little thing to fiddle around with. It has a flex nib. It's really teeny. Uh, it's a piston pen, but it, the ink capacity isn't massive, especially given that it's a flex pen. You are going to run out of ink uh, relatively quick, but it is a fun thing to write with, and the price is right. Do you have any thoughts on the Creeper? I love the little nib on the Creeper because that actually, in my experience, makes you do your flexing a little bit better. It's not such a big nib. You don't feel like you can do all these big flourishes, and I feel like it actually preps you a little bit better for learning how to More properly. control, perhaps. Yes, ah, yes. I like it because it does put your fingers closer to the paper. Yeah. But anyway, you cannot go wrong with the Creeper. And then if the flex thing just isn't for you, you're out 16 bucks. It's a yeah. really great way to kind of figure out, do I want more of this in my life? Yep. And then there are other Noodler's options you can check out. What you got? I have the Rickshaw Bagworks six pin roll up. I love these roll ups, um, mainly because I really like to toss things in my purse. And, and if you carry a purse, it's great because it's well protected. I mean, this doesn't have my pins in it, but it's well protected. It's very small. It's adjustable so you can, you know, do what you need to do with it. But it's also so incredibly soft. I just feel that like is, my pins are yeah. are cloaked in luxury. They really are taken care uh, of. And Rickshaw has one, two, six, eight, I think. Oh, they've got it all. If, they've, we, they've if, got, if we don't have it on our side, they've got they, it on yeah. theirs. So no matter how many pins you need to carry, they can be you know wrapped in a luxury. Like, Andy, can you get how beautifully smooth and luxurious this is? Because I just feel like it needs a <laughs> moment. It's wrapped in luxury. They I mean, are. I know how soft it is. They're yeah. like the really fluffy soft. Yeah, you need yeah. you need yeah. to feel They're, this stuff. You really do. It's just amazing. And it's such high quality of craftsmanship, it really too. Is. So um, I love the new designs we have. So rickshaw and this uh, a six pin case for fifty dollars is really yeah is really not bad. not bad. And rickshaw is one of those things. It's not unpopular, but you feel like everybody should have one. Yeah, like yeah. anytime I mention it, people say, "Oh, I forgot about that." So I'm like, "There, there we go. go." Perfect. Um, this next product is not really going to, you know, excite you very much, but it's one that consistently gets underlooked, and it's very unique. The Platinum Cartridge Adapter. So a lot of major fountain pen brands have proprietary cartridges, right? Platinum, Lamy, Pilot, uh, there are a few. Yeah. And they're great pens, great products, and they do have um, a pretty solid ink cartridge offering. But if you wanted to, Platinum offers this little doodad, it's like six bucks, to convert your platinum pen to be able to take a standard international cartridge. So if you did want to open up your world to the wider uh, variety of standard international cartridge sizes, you can go ahead and buy this little ditty and have yourself a good old time. So you would just take your platinum pen, you would remove whatever you have going on there, slip this in, and then all of a sudden, look, you've got a standard what? international size. I'm not going to actually it's puncture amazing. this cartridge. But it's a really simple piece but it is unique and no other pen brand does this. Which is really interesting. You would think they would want to capitalize on that because it just opens up so much more mm -hmm. versatility for you. Right, and it makes it, yeah, it does make the pen much more versatile and it shows that 
they're not obsessed with making sure you use only their cartridges. Anyway, yeah. it's an often overlooked item and it's fun and interesting and very unique. Yeah. So, Lamy, you know I have a place in my heart for Lamy. As do we all. Always, always, always. But I was talking uh, with a customer about the Dialogue 3 and I was just reminded at how incredibly awesome the Dialogue 3 is. It's like the vanishing point mm -hmm. on I don't want to say on steroids, but it's so cool. So it's a very nice, sorry, let me hold it the right way. And the Men in Black use this to erase memories. Yes, so the, that's, that's a little known side effect. Yeah. Um, it's a nice pen, it's sleek, it's clean lines. So if you're looking for something to give that person in your life who maybe is a little bit more professional or yeah. just wants something, but it's got, again, the retractable nib. Turn it sideways. Yeah, sideways. Do it one more time. And there's actually a metal like door, like door. a convex door that shifts. It's really, yeah. it's a really neat design. It's still super comfortable to yeah. hold. And if you're a person who doesn't care for the sculpted grip in the Lamy, this doesn't have it. Um, and you know, it's it's got the gold Lamy nib, which is crazy smooth. So it's a little up there at three nineteen and and twenty cents. But you know, you get the German engineering. Mm -hmm. You get kind of a cool gadgety pen, and it's just. The, the gold nib is wonderful. And it does that cool thing where the clip lowers a little bit yeah. when you extend the I don't even know nib. if you can see that. It's very slight, but it's still neat. It just goes to show like the uh, the engineering and intentionality see, behind it when they designed it. It's a little it. bit lower and then whoop, goes up. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, love it. I think everybody needs one in their stocking for Christmas, <laughs> i.e. me. That's, that's a <clears> bit <throat> above our price limit for stocking stuffers. <laughs> Um, so the last one we're going to go to is the Pilot Heritage 92. And this one is probably overlooked because of the Custom 74 mm -hmm. being 160 and this being 120. It's pretty much going to provide you with the same writing experience. So this one, you know, gets overshadowed a little bit by the more practical price point of the... Uh, 220. 220. That's what I said. Did I not say that? You said 120. Oh, 120. Oh yeah, 220. God, yeah. No. It's definitely 220. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so the different, the big difference between the Heritage 92 and the Custom 74 is that this is Pilot's only, as far as I know, it's the only one we carry. Pilot's only internal piston filling pen. So you have an internal piston where all of the other pens are cartridge converter pens, and you have a flat top design as opposed to the more uh, kind of classic cigar shape yep. or whatever you want to call that design, which I prefer the flat, but it is a jump up in price. I thought about this one recently because a lot of folks have been not super thrilled with the converter situation that Pilot has right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I personally am not a huge fan of the Con 70. It, yeah. it has great ink capacity, but I find it difficult to clean. Uh, this. Yeah. Like, in light of all that, this is becoming a more practical choice. Yeah. A large reservoir of ink, you don't have to worry about any sort of, you know, feelings toward a converter. So. Yeah. And I love large reservoirs of ink in general. I just, mm -hmm. I enjoy that more. I can see what I'm doing most of the time because most of mine are demonstrator. Um, and you just don't have to worry about running out of ink when you're doing something, which is annoying to say the least. It's a really smooth operation too. So this one uh, is, uh, you know. a great Japanese pilot nib. Oh yeah. No, it's a wonderful. It's, it's going to be a familiar writing experience if you have a Custom 74, but it's going to be a completely different filling experience. So that's it for us. No, uh, no, we've got not. a nice, oh yeah, sorry, you've got one more. Sorry about that. Drew just Take us does home. not want me to talk. Take to... us home. So this is my personal one, so pardon the slight messiness Ew. on it. It's the Colorverse Nebula Notebook, and anybody who is not, uh, anybody who does not know about it, you're missing out. It is beautiful white Tomoe River 52 GSM paper. Uh, this notebook has 100 sheets. Well, mine has less than 100 sheets, but, <laughs> but Tomoe River paper does a really great job of showcasing all different kinds of inks. That. And this comes with some stickers that I might have already used, but I love how it's got this guide sheet mm -hmm. in it. So if you're writing some letters, you can practice your calligraphy, you can practice your lines, you can get your dots if you want to turn this into some sort of a bullet journal, oh. um, because you know it's very easy to see behind. Let's see if I right, can... because it's tome away and it's a little transparent. Yeah. Can you see behind? Oh, wow, yeah. 
for sure. Very easy to see behind, so you get a really nice That's clean. That's fun. And the thing I love is if you're writing a letter or something, the paper comes out perfectly, smoothly, every single time. So you can write a letter, send it off, use beautiful ink, good to go. And there we have it. And it's $15, so it's a great for real stocking stuffer. So what do you think needs a little bit more light shine shown on it? Let us know in the comments if you've got a personal little thing in your pocket that you think everybody should own, and uh, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah. Until then, right on. have a wonderful day and right on, yeah.